r slash relationships. Homework V7237 says. Wife was honest with me, and now I feel like crap, and worried she will resent me. I met my wife 28 female, right as she was graduating college, to be a nurse then 21. I was 28 at the time. I was already well established in my career, and at a job that I love. I make really good money for the area, where I live very rural slash remote Indiana. It is a very small town, but I'm from here and this is all I have ever known. I have never had a desire to move, and highly doubt I ever will. My wife is the opposite, and has always been very adventurous and loves to travel the opposite of me. We are both career focused people. She always talked about wanting to be a travel nurse, live in California, etc. I told her from the start that with my job a niche, regional to this area job, moving would never be an option for me, nor would I want to move. Also wanted to add I have no formal education, just military training and working my was up to the role I'm in now. She seemed accepting of that, and we got serious. Anyways, we fell in love very quickly, and moved in together fast. We got married two years later, and had a one year old son he was an IUD failure baby and completely unplanned. She was six months pregnant, when we found out we were not sure we wanted kids before this happened. We have an amazing relationship, but I have always felt, like she has some underlying resentment towards me, because she never got to do the things she dreamed of travel nursing, move to the big cities, etc. She has made comments in the past about how much her nurse friends are making in other states we only have one hospital within a 2 hour drive of here, and they do not pay nurses well at all how a lot of her friends are travel nurses who spend their summers overseas between the breaks in their jobs, how much money they are making, how much she would be able to put back for her retirement, if she were making that much, etc anyways, we were talking the other day and I forget how we got on the topic. But I asked her if she felt like I held her back and she said, I'm paraphrasing but this is pretty spot on. I mean I will be 100% honest with you, getting into a relationship with you, and as a result moving here with you did hurt my career potential and earnings by an astronomical amount. My friends are out there making 200k plus in other areas, more than I do in 3.5 years for the same job and hours, meanwhile I'm stuck at the hospital here, because there is nowhere else for me to work as a nurse anywhere near here. I know you told me you never planned on moving, but I was also barely 21 years old at the time, and did not really understand the implications of what that meant for my career. I'm way behind in my career advancements, retirement, and income that what I thought I would be at this age, and it sucks, because I worked so hard in school, so I could go, wherever I wanted to go. But there is nothing I can do about it now. I made my choice, and I have to live with it. I was gutted and still am. I know she was just being honest. But it did hurt hearing her say that. I never wanted to hold her back, and I tried to make it as clear as day before we ever got serious that moving is just not an option for me for a multitude of reasons, and if she wanted out, now was the time. But now I can't help but think she is missing out on things that are important to her and will lead her to resenting me in the future. I just feel gutted, and now sure, if I can do anything to make it better too long, didn't read, wife confirmed that being with me hindered her career and the life she wanted for herself, and now I do. Pritipi Wakorka says. Just move. Up sticks and leave on an adventure for a couple of years, sabbatical or whatever where you travel the world, and pick up wherever you land. You have excellent work credentials already, and it sounds like she actually needs this, while you only prefer this cause it's easy for me. If you stay together this will always be the fork in the road, resentment that never resolves. Maybe, just an idea friend. First hole 8774 says. Spoiled princess, ungrateful for the advantages she has in life. Dremor says. Traveling nurses, that's not really a profession fit for marriage. Worked with plenty. Joe Thompson 912 Ed says. 
Why don't you give up your job become a Mr. Mom and that way you have all the time with your child she gets high pay. And you all can travel. Classic Writer 8573 says. I've been doing travel nursing the past 8 years. I've rarely seen any hookups, though of course there's the potential for them to happen. Usually, people seem to just work their shifts and go home. Yumizumi says. She probably feels like she now has to choose between motherhood slash her family slash relationships or her job. She's is going to resent feeling like she will always have to be the one to give something up. It may feel like she can be stuck in her low level career but be with her family or she can have her career but see her family every other weekend slash once a month. Meanwhile you get to have both with the only compromise you had to make was a slight pay cut in different hours. Offering someone to be a Sam when they are career focus is not support. Offering someone to go live and travel when they want to have you slash their family clothes may not be supportive, it could feel like she's being pushed out. Sweet Illiterary says. Niche job specific to Indiana you're either done kind of corn dork or work in speedway doing indie car stuff either way anyone who's that in love with Indiana needs to live in Indiana alone. Friend of Future says. This is a tough one, because she absolutely made a mistake, and, frick, add up her life and it's not like you're blameless. At 28 you should have known better and yeah you trapped her. But it is what it is. She's trapped in a shitty little life in a shitty little town with a boring small minded man, no offense. I doubt you have it in you to do anything to make things better. Edit, I read your comments, and I was way too harsh with my snap judgment. Tatima Fear says. Can your wife make more than you somewhere else? Would you be willing to move and take on Childka, so that she could work? Grumpy G says. Can't she work somewhere else for a while and you try long distance? October says. Be honest, if she was earning up to her full potential it'd make up for your good for rural Indiana salary and then some, right? At least part of this is ego on your part, because you don't want to start over somewhere else. Certified Texan says. First, thank you for your service. Second it sounds like you're being selfish and should compromise. It's BS saying you can't get another job anywhere. You just don't want to get out of your comfort zone. And the age gap is huge as you had already figured out what you wanted, and as a young 20 year old you only can really guess what you want, because you don't have enough life experience. It sounds like you need to give her that opportunity, to experience more in life. The travel nurse opportunity is probably not realistic now give the family obligations and contact terms, but you could compromise, by moving to a better area. Indiana, really? That's the dream location. R slash relationships. Shoddy Dragon Fruit 38 says. Would I, F20, be wrong to cut my dad, M52, out of my life for staying by my abusive stepmoms, F45, side. My father got remarried to Sarah when I was 8 and my brother was 5, and she already had a 2 year old daughter. Quickly I began to distance Sarah as she was emotionally abusive, and would punish me in dramatic ways. Some examples, at 12 I lied about having a boyfriend and viewing porn. My punishment was to remove all technology for 6 months. This took place about a month before school started so no one knew what happened to me for about a month. I wasn't allowed to go outside either for that month, and began to gain weight. The only enjoyment I had was reading, but about a week into my punishment I was told I wasn't allowed in my room for more than 3 hours a day, and had to always have the door open. So I stayed on the couch 24 over 7 and gradually became depressed and suicidal. This was all lead by Sarah, my dad just supported. I made cupcakes, and cleaned the kitchen top to bottom after to make sure they had nothing to be angry about. Then Sarah told me she could see a smudge on the floor in front of the stove and the light. I couldn't see it but I moped the area. She again called me down and said it was there. 
I again moped the area even more. Again, she called me down, and this time I just asked where it was. She said that I know where it is. I didn't so I decided to just mop the whole floor. In response she began to degrade me. She called me spoiled, selfish, a brat, disrespectful, which all shocked me, because I was scared of them, and would never purposely try to be disrespectful to them fearing punishment. I was fed up though and simply said please, don't talk to me that way. She flew across the kitchen inches from my face, and began to straight yell while saying how, do you like being interrupted over, and over again as I cried, and my dad stared. Later she said, that she just yells uncontrollably like I cry, and that my crying was just manipulation. Sarah always was right and everyone else was wrong. She made you feel like less, and degraded you for not having the same understanding as her. We went on vacation to a very hot place, when we come from a colder place. I wasn't used to it and all I said was. I could never live in a place like this. She began to call me ungrateful. When I tried to explain myself she told me to basically shut up. Then 15 minutes later she said wow it's so hot here. When I first started to learn how to drive I didn't know how to handle ice. My parents advised me I should come home early as it was supposed to be icy night. Being confident in myself, believing I had driven on ice before, and seeing everyone else drive by, I thought I could handle it. I got on the road, and immediately spun out, and pulled over, and called my dad. Him and my stepmom told me, that I was now risking their lives, and how selfish I was for wanting to spend 5 more minutes with my boyfriend by spinning out. I should have come home earlier, but how else would I learn? Before I could drive my boyfriend's mom would drop me off at home. One time I was about 3 minutes late to me home, but we all just sat in the car for about 5 minutes talking in my driveway. I walked in, and was told, that I needed to come home 2 hours early. Next time because I came home late. I was at most 10 minutes late, but was in the driveway for most of the time. When my boyfriend and I first started dating I didn't have an understanding what a healthy amount of time was to spend together. So when my dad, prompted by Sarah, told me that we couldn't hang out much anymore I began to cry and ask why. Sarah then yelled at me to shut the f up. Keep in mind my dad was there when all these events happened. He either saw them take place, and didn't do anything, or was a part of it. My dad isn't the innocent one in this either. My stepmom is currently cheating on him, and wants a divorce, but she wants to live together until my sister graduates. It's been over a year so far. I've moved out since, and have gone no contact with my stepmom since, and refuse to see her, or be in a room with her. Despite this he keeps trying to be with her, and won't give up. She's invited to all family events, and she still goes. I can't stand seeing my dad. He's a constant reminder of how he didn't care to protect me. But when I tell him this, he brushes it off. When I tell him I'm hurt, that he plays favorites between my brother and I, he does not make a difference in his treatment. He still posts about my brother and his birthday, but nothing for me at all. He still shells out thousands of dollars for my brother's hockey, but I don't have a clue what's in my college savings, that I've had from birth. He makes an effort, to do anything for my brother but nothing for me. I'm in college and all he really does that benefits me is pay for my bills, that are about $750 a semester right now, which I do appreciate it. I don't like seeing him though. He wants a relationship with me, and he wants us to be good, but seeing him reminds me. This summer is my brother's graduation party and she's going to be there. I don't know what to do. I'm seconds away from blowing up at my dad, and wanting to cut him out of my life. Would I be wrong to do that? What do I do? Too long, didn't read, dad let me be emotionally abused by my stepmom and my dad plays favorites. Should I cut him out? Perid Oily says. My stepmom was pretty bad too. Not like yours though. She's on a whole other level. 
Parents who let their kids get abused so they can get laid deserve everything bad that can happen to them. He's too far gone to see what he's done. He wasn't just enabling it, he was complicit. How much of it was his idea? Some parents are disappointing. He might come crawling back, or not. My dad never figured it out. A whole lot of other people know he's a shit parent though. Cafeti Ria Monitor says. I think it is fine to cut him out. I also think it's fine to only talk to him a little bit, or only in certain situations, or about certain topics. Ultimately, you will probably never be that close, because of his role in enabling your abuse, and that's fine. Keep working on your path to financial independence, and get therapy, if slash when you can afford it. Grumpy G says. What happened to your college savings? Give him one last chance if you want. You got proof for him treating your brother better. Print it out. Give it to him. Maybe then he realizes how messed up he is. Or show him this post. But don't expect too much. Then wait till you graduate, and then tell him that he isn't part of your life anymore. Rabbit and Ling says. Yes, you would not be wrong to cut your dad out of your life. A Jostle Soul C says. There's a lot to unpack here. I think it's fair to say that their reactions were completely disproportionate to your behavior and that's the frustration. Honey if I were you, I'd get the hell out of dodge and seek therapy. You're not wrong to set boundaries and cut them off. Oldster Gray says. Personally I'd wait until you graduate. Keep as low contact as possible and let him continue paying for your education. EZZ says. You have to protect yourself. There's nothing you can do to fix his behavior. You are justified in cutting him off. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.